can see inside there, I've had to actually put filler in. I couldn't get a welder in there or anything to do, but it is fiberglass filler. So the good thing about a fiberglass filler is that it is um, a lot stronger than just a standard filler. Uh, I had a look just on the corner here to see if that was really bad rust. It's not, it's just a bit of a lump where they, they welded it up. So that's one good thing is that it was only a small hole. Uh, fiberglass filler will uh, fix that fairly well for the amount of years that it's got left in it. Uh, also, we said that the mud and everything just sloshes straight up into this corner here. So I'm thinking if we can um, make a type of guard sort of just in this area or even just there. It's only that top corner. The rest of it's in here. You can see the rest of it is sealed right up to where the rust and everything can... It sits on a little shelf, just in there. just goes and rust away in there. So just wondering if we could put something to stop stop um, anything going in, in there further. Uh, other than that, I had a look all the way down. It's pretty good. So just uh, that one little spot in the corner there that we had that, that hole down the back. Looks massive there, but it's not. So we'll uh, put a bit of primer over that and a bit of uh, uh, sound deadener. But we won't do that yet, uh, just to seal it all off and seal a little bit more rust out of it. And I'll just feel up in the corners, make sure there's nothing in there. And uh, we'll do another little patch over the top of this, grind the edges down so they're nice and open, and do a little patch uh, over it. I'm going to actually extend it down a little bit, make it a proper triangle, so I can uh, butt weld in there, um, in this section there. Oh, it might even be better that way for you to have a look at. So, but weld that section in, and that'll be another spot done. All right, we'll get back to you. Okay, guys, didn't really want to bore you with the same cutting out, uh, welding up, etc. But this is a bit different, this stuff. You can see that this is a fiberglass resin body filler. Now, it's got fiberglass in it, so that should strengthen that up as well. It's not a very big patch anyway. It's the only reason I'm using it, really, is because I have run out of the normal body filler. But uh, it is harder to say. <laughs> That's about the only thing. So I've fixed up that corner properly, that little bit of rust in the corner. Um, I've gone over the paint, which isn't very good. You're not meant to do that with any body filler. Um, but that's okay, because that'll all be sanded off anyway, and back to paint, it will all come off. Uh, here, the patch is actually there, the paint, it sort of will blend in, but that's what fiberglass body filter, you can see here, or maybe you can, when you actually lift it up, it's really stringy, so it's, it's really not as easy to use as your normal filler, which is, so it's got all these little strings in it of fiberglass, and that's what gives it, it um, its strength, sorry about the lighting, just got a a floodlight uh, hooked to the door here so yeah a little bit different than normal body filler um, and I've way over you uh, over wasted that because I only need a tiny little bit and, and it's better to be safe than sorry and I don't think I'll need to to uh, put any more on it so that's about the final bit of rust in this car <laughs> pardon me final bit of rust in this car um, other than all your little uh, spot rust which will come out with sanding and then filling up it's just just under the paint here and there so that'll be the next job but once I get the this final rust patch done then we start looking around at um, doing other bits and pieces to it all right guys so there's another corner done as you can see needs a bit of uh, work on the corner filling up just a little bit more this is a uh, your primer filler um, your primer filler so if I keep filling it up a little bit more and I've also got a filler putty that'll fill that up and then I can work on this uh, oops, I'm out, of, out of the thing that light's in the wrong spot isn't it just look at my shadow here's my shadow on my finger so where my shadow on my finger is I'll work on that gap like I did with the other one again I'll put a little bit of seam sealer down there and work on that gap a bit but all in all another uh, flat spot done um for Maisie the bus and I think that's all of the rust at the moment other than as we said before just the surface rust this is almost the finished product um, not too bad I'm pretty
pretty pleased about this one as well. It was only a small area, uh, which is great. Only thing is I got a little bit of overspray on a couple of things. I did tape it up, of course, and then realised I didn't tape the door runner up, door rubber up, uh, but it, it'll clean up okay. Uh, a couple of little spots that I didn't notice when I tried to blend it in here, I got a bit of a run. Now, we'll show you how to fix runs later on. They're not that hard to fix. So we can get a little bit of 8 to 1200 sandpaper, just sand that back a bit. You can see it's not perfect anyway, but I do want to just fix up that little run there. Um, it came out pretty well. The seam was okay. You can see down here in the seam, the original seam, it's starting to crack open. So when I do the whole car up, which won't be anytime soon, I've got to get it on the road first. Uh, we can fix all them up as well because this is where the water gets, the moisture gets in, rusts it from the inside. Um, stupid me, as normal, went, oh, I wonder what the door looks like when it's shut. Of course, I painted inside here in the door jam. You can probably see where the door rubber has pulled all the paint off. And I tried to fix it up so you can't see it too badly. Of course, the door will be shut on it, but I may or may not fix that bit up. It's not that bad. Mainly the outside of the car I want to get half respectable um, and polished up. The colour match I'm very pleased with, the other side. Um, I'll give it a bit of a polish again. Um, sorry, I'll give it a polish again. I haven't even polished it the first time. I'll give it a bit of polish uh, later on to see how the colour does match and I think it's pretty good so another bit done now as I said the last bit of rust is in the back corner I've been looking around and I think that is the last big bit of rust that I've got to cut out on the outside of the car however have a look at this I don't know if you can see there it's a bit dark but in this corner put the flash on Oh, there we go. Bit of a hole. A couple of little holes there in the floor. So that's pretty good on this side. This is where they mainly, mainly do rust. Of course, the water gets up and it just stays there. And because they have rubber mats in this particular model, moisture just stays under these little areas of droopier, droopiness, I'll call it. There has been or is a drain plug right there. But the funny thing is with the drain plug, it's sort of not in the right spot, I don't think, anyway. Uh, there could be like a drain plug of each of these hole on each of these ribs. Uh, there's not, but I mean, how many drain plugs can you have in a car? And when it's moving, this thing has sat and sat and sat. When it's moved, it's not going to get as much rust as when it's not moving. Now that sounds weird, well, in countries like, well, where I live anyway, there's no snow. Uh, no icy roads or anything like that. So these vans tend to last a long time. Hot and dry where I am. All right, guys. So a uh, couple more bits of rust to go. We'll see you on the flip side.